coming up on Mars and Farms. I'm really getting sick of this issue. <laughs> I'm ready, but I have no idea what we're doing. I need the Swede. Where's the Swede? We're just all here getting it done. Do you need to seek medical attention? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I might lose my temper. That's a prostate. Uh, you'll find out. <laughs> forward! Forward! That didn't take much. Chet Larson? You never know what we're going to get into, right, Juggle? Ah! You're in the room, Bob! I'm having fun. Morning. It's frosty out. Look at my railing. I hope this don't cause issues. But it's not dust, that's frost. 27 degrees this morning. It's chilly, but it's, it's not bad. At least the sun's out today. So we're gonna find out here if it'll work. And by working, I mean frost. It froze, it got 20, I think it was 27 when I got up this morning at 6.55. <laughs> kind of overslept for some reason. The frost was on my pickup terrible. Obviously the ground, well you can't see because I can't barely see. But the ground is all frost. The leaves, the plants, I can see the frost on the plant. We've got to be careful here. I think if when it starts warming up, it can plug up the combine, like plug, plug the sieve up. Then the grain can't fall through the machine. Then you got to wait for everything to warm up. I can definitely see that it is still cold enough that the, the snouts, I'm sure it's so dusty. The snouts are, it looks like snow in the header. So it's fine when it's cool enough that it'll just run through the machine. But it's when that starts getting wet sticky that's what will plug up the sieve so it's just me and brody where's the grain carts might as well get out good opportunity to get out see if there's any issues behind the machine oh look at the ladder wow <laughs> this this might be an issue eventually We, uh, this, this could very well be a problem here. This might shut us down. It's terrible. It's way worse than I ever imagined it to be. It's started! Japers, he's been roosting. Already, back to grinding. I checked check Brody's sieves. Looks uh, good so far. It's gonna be when it gets a little warmer. So we had a driver switcheroo today. Big sweep spreading fertilizer he hasn't spread for a couple of days so he's like 600 acres behind and tillage is on him anyways we got Jimmy family friend he's took some time off work and is running grain cart so we'll see how this goes well just like that we got 25 acres of this field that we combined yesterday we left it because it was a different variety and it was much different moisture this was like 14 percent the rest of it was 17 percent so we came clean this up we're gonna jump the road and hopefully find the same moisture corn. We're hoping. Yeah, so far, so good. So this field that we are in, it's right across the road from where we were. A lot of point rows, lakeshore property. We're moved into the lakeshore property. There isn't a straight headland on the field, I don't think. For some reason, Brody has now all of a sudden started sitting there and making a lot of dust off the side of his combine. So I hope he's not broke down. What? 
What did you do? Sluggage? Zero, no, it said zero speed detected. This sensor was all plugged up, so maybe it had a bunch of junk on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, all my chains are on and nothing's broke, so. Did you try a power cycle? Maybe it's just an electronic screw up. Yeah, it's turning. You're not supposed to be able to turn this. The lock and collar is off for some odd reason. That ain't supposed to be able to rotate, right? I don't think so. The sensor's lighting up, see when it senses? Fire it up once and I'll watch that. I'm guessing something came loose on that locking collar. turning for some reason while well, the shaft is turning but the sensor part is not turning at least that's diagnosed we found it still in there there we go there we go it's coming in clutch again look at the rock he was picking my corn header bounced across that along the edge of the field i'm like that was yesterday i'm like eric can you pick that rock? <laughs> I think we kind of determined what something's loosened up or I don't know. We don't need four guys there and three guys now sitting on the headlands waiting for grain. So I'm going to keep moving. They're going to keep working on that to hopefully get it fixed up. Well, I've been combining away. Brody was down for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, yeah. He's back up and running. I've been busy at it while he was broke down. Truth be told, I haven't picked the camera up in quite a while. We've done quite a bit together, and thank goodness, because this field shape, it's 275 acres, which should be easily done in a day, but it's gonna take us all day due to the breakdown, and it's just an extremely cut up field. Here, I'll show you. It is that. It is very, not uh, not square, lots of points and jags, and I was very glad to see that Brody got fixed back up because up in some of them corners is would have been a, it would have been a mash fest with one combine trying to open that field up. I'm really getting sick of this issue. It's been just an exceptional year for this. So many dry leaves that just, they won't leave the plant until the combine hits them. The end is right there. I better get out of the way. Brody's coming back. So me and Brody are working on up in this peninsula here before it gets dark because it's six o'clock and by the time we get done with this, it'll almost be dark. Bet you're thinking I'm doing an AG1 ad. In fact, I am not. I'm actually just drinking it. This train is wild too. Lots of hills, valleys. It's crazy. Lakeshore property. It's crazy. Okay, today I have been focusing really, really hard on my grain quality. So there's my settings. I actually was very unpleased with my sample as far as how much FM I was getting for the corn being 14 to 16 percent. I was very unpleased. It's like, why should you be grinding? You're not it explodes off the cob, it shouldn't be grinding. So I actually contacted Estes. I know we've been focusing a lot on Bushel Plus this year, just because it's a new concave. That's also not right to Estes, so I contacted them and trying to better my sample. Well here, didn't know how to run the concaves. <laughs> it's my fault. So my theory, you know, when you start seeing cobs in the tank or start seeing broken grain that you're too tight too tight or too fast I was talking to them and they're like well what are your settings and I told them like 36 and 340 I think I was running and they're like well this is gonna sound crazy but go to like 22 24 on the rotor spacing and go down to 280 and I did that and it 
dramatically changed the sample. So then that raised the question to myself, well, why? So I texted him back, why would you do that? And he said, actually, you can have your rotor too far open, causing the grain to get in there and start hitting, I don't know, the Pac-Man style concave and cracking it. And you want it to be tight right away and slow, tight, so it grinds it off immediately and falls in out of the rotor. I guess I've never looked at it that way. Ran this combine a long time and should have asked those questions sooner. But I've also never been in these conditions before either. So that was good to know and good to find out. That changed my sample drastically. I mean, it looks, it looks really, 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 really nice. Like hardly any broken grain. Very satisfied now with this. The other thing I've been doing that Conditions are extremely variable out here. I mean, we go from 140 bushel corn in the suppressed spots to 240 bushel corn. It's been so cut up, we've got three truck drivers and we're like three miles from the farm, so <clears throat> they're very, very bored. So I've been not slowing down when I got to the 200 and some bushel corn, which I normally do because I normally, when I see that, I start backing it down. I like to be at like 4,300. I know nothing comes out the back end at that at that level. So I thought, well, let's do this a couple of passes and see what it looks like. Got out, and I was actually at 5,800. And I'm like, it's gotta be dumping it. I was pleasantly surprised that it wasn't dumping it out. And that I also think is largely to do with the moisture of the corn. It slides through everything so much better. If you try that in 26% corn, I really highly doubt that you would keep it in the machine. Now, in this field, in these conditions, I'm fairly confident, or actually very confident, in being able to go up to 5,000 bushel an hour. Now our grain leg, it's pointless to do that for long periods of time, because our grain leg is 8,000 bushel an hour and cranking out 10,000 bushel an hour through both machines. Ain't gonna last long and then we'll all be sitting. So, just kind of cool. I geek out about combines, so. So Chet was saying that you guys were wondering how my newborn child is. We had a girl, her name is Everly. She is growing like a weed, actually. I seen a picture of her today and I'm like, holy moly, she's gotten big. I haven't seen her for a while, so told my wife, I'm like, she has grown a lot. Yeah, she's doing great, she's healthy and we're all doing good. And uh, we've been at this field like, all day long. And everybody always dreads this field because it's so cut up and it's really time consuming. I'll show you. That's what it looks like. A lot of nooks and crannies. And it's just time consuming. And I had a couple breakdowns. I uh, had a feeder house, the collar that senses the speed, uh, that came loose. So I was just spinning and I wasn't detecting the speed. It was still running but it kept beeping at me. So we fixed that, figured that out. And then I had a plug, roll plug up, the gathering chain popped up, popped off, because I think there was double planting and it got pinched and then it, and then it popped off somehow. But, and then that's about it, I think. Hopefully the rest of the night goes well. Alrighty, yeah, heading back to the farm. We're gonna call it an early night. As far as harvesting, it is uh, You're good to go. Eight o'clock, but we have a lot of road travel to do tomorrow. So we are planning on uh, greasing, fueling, and getting on the road early in the morning. So we got a long road travel day. So we're spending the night. I just got done greasing Brody's combine, my combine. What are you doing? Uh, it's from my car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently uh, these little tubes aren't very strong on the uh, reel on the combine one broke today and got looking at the rest of them and they're also busted so brody's doing brody fab i give it a, like a c minus a c minus well job <laughs> he's getting a little irritable i think yeah it should be more beefy i think well i've been looking at you welding over grease and rags and well you know people uh don't pick up after themselves but he's, he's really got an attitude today, Jordan. See that. Brody, I think it's galvanized. Yeah. You gotta have to dip this, Brody. You can't put this on. That's gonna rust right away. This is, you can't. Hmm? 
<laughs> getting sick of the truck or no, enjoying it? No, not bad. Today it was slow. Did we did our account? best. We did our best. <laughs> a lot of TikTok time. <laughs> of, yeah, true. He said he's the only guy on the crew that got a nap today, I think. <laughs> really? Slumped over in the cab. Oh. <laughs> two or three different times. Wow. Woke up when the cars were coming up. And... That's why I kept honking at you. I thought you were sleeping. <laughs> so this right here is what's seeming to be a weak point here. It's part of what holds this up. As you can see, it's not straight with the head. It's all drooping down. And this broke today. Hopefully that's a little more sturdy. Otherwise, I do like this. It's only available on uh, six rows because of the folding feature. And then this all folds down and then it folds on top of it. So the idea is fluffy corn stalks and whatnot. And Brody actually was combining up a bunch of bean leaves that had drifted into the corn field. And he actually did use it to push it in. If you had down corn, it'd be, it would be down. It would be getting used a lot. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be the end of the day. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a big day, interesting day. Thanks for watching. Stop in next time and we're gonna be shortly going home once we put that back together and getting some sleep and early day tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Next up on Larson Farms. It's not good news. It's not good news. There's more of this. I'm working hard here. Dr. Pepper is smoking more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want, you want to just take the box? <laughs>